Welcome to another Data Craftsman's Guild tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Python and SQLite to build a web application. Very excited about this uh, tutorial video and we're going to be going a lot of, over a lot of great stuff so why don't we go ahead and dive right in. We're going to start by opening up our project that we have in PyCharm and we're going to be using a database that we created personally uh, and it's in the SQL file here you can kind of take a look at it uh, but in order to run this we're going to go ahead and use the command prompt so first thing we need to do is grab the absolute path from our PyCharm project we're going to change our directory and then we're going to go ahead and create the new SQLite database known as human resources we're going to do that by saying SQLite human resources dot db and now we're going to go ahead and run this SQL script that we created previously so we can populate our database with tables so we're going to hit read human resources make sure I type that out right SQL. Great, and now we should have it all read in and we can go take a look at it. I'm going to move this over here out of the way so we can open it up in SQLite Studio. We're going to connect to our new database and we're going to open up a file path here. It looks like we're already in our project folder and we can see our database here so we're going to go ahead and just click on it and click open. Test the connection looks good so we're going to go ahead and just open it on up now you can see that we have about five tables in here that are populated because of that SQL file that we ran into the, this database I'm going to close that other database real quick so we can focus on this one and now this is the main table that we're going to be working off of so let's go ahead and write a script that we can take a look at and see the setup of this table. Okay, so what we're wanting to build is a web application that allows users to input new employees into this SQLite database and have their information stored. So let's come back and bring our PyCharm project over here, close that SQL file, and we've already preloaded this. Uh, because it's a little bit easier to kind of walk through than to type out as we go but essentially what we're going to use is flask and we're going to use some HTML files to kind of create a user interface for uh, different people that will be using this web application so if you're familiar with flask um, basically it just kind of functions as a way to develop these web applications and you can also deploy them uh, but that's a whole nother uh, lecture. For our purposes today we're just going to be focusing on the development side. So what we're going to want to do is this HTML employee file will be our main uh, landing page according to what we have set up here. So it's going to root to this one first. Let's take a look at it real quick. Um, you can see we have some CSS that we've written up here to kind of make it look pretty. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be collecting a whole bunch of information uh, for our new employee. So these should line up with a lot of what we see in this SQLite uh, database. Now, as you'll notice, there are not every there's not every single uh, field that's listed here, and we'll kind of get to that and show you what's going to happen. Um, but we're going to have first name, last name, birthday, position, salary and hire date that's going to be inputted on this web application. Okay, and once that's done, it will request it, essentially, and then it's going to pull all this information uh, using those tags that we saw on the last HTML page that we were just looking at. Now, what it's going to do is connect right into the database, and then it's going to insert employee information in there. Now I mentioned before that we are not collecting all of the data 
uh, just some of it. And you can see that over here where it says um, none, 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 and then first name. So if you have something like this where you're not going to be using all of the inputs uh, right away, you can put the none uh, syntax in there to kind of make it so it enters into the database as a null field. Now, <clears throat> kind of to go over a little bit more of the syntax, this is just basic SQL syntax here. We'll just want to make sure that we have all these values passed in. There should be 11 of them here and then 11 of them, 11 of them here as well. Okay. So next step is we're going to activate our virtual environment. Uh, now we've previously set this up, um, which is right up here. And you can look at videos on how to do that um, online. But what we're going to do here is just type venv. And we're going to need to go into the scripts folder here. So we're going to hit backslash. Whoops. We're going to hit backslash scripts. Backslash again. And then hit activate. Great. Now we are in our virtual environment. And we should be able to run our Flask application just directly from the terminal here. So we're going to hit Flask run in order to do that. And now it's going to pop up with a local instance of this web application. And you notice this is uh, not something for deployment. It's just, again, something that we're using for uh, production development. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, and it will open up a web page, our web page. And now you can see that we have our form to fill out. So we're just going to populate this with some a little bit of information here. I'm going to say Jack. We'll use this here, plate. We're going to say that his birthday, his birthday is 1992, May 13th. And we're going to say that he's going to be an IT manager for us. Um, then the salary information is going to be entered followed by the hire date, which will just be today. Now, once we submit this, we should get another page that will tell us if it worked. Okay, uh, result of addition, it looks like the record was added successfully. And then you can go back and enter another, uh, another record. So let's go ahead and close this now. And um, we will go over this real quick. I, I forgot to show you the, the result part um, the HTML for the result will just be kind of what you saw there. It was pretty basic. Uh, you might want to develop it a little bit more if you were doing an actual inter uh, user interface. But for our purposes today, this worked out pretty perfect. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and minimize this. And we're going to take a look and see if it really put the data into our table uh, through Python. As you can see, uh, it worked like a charm. You'll notice that employee ID did populate, which may be a little bit confusing because if you look on our project, we set it to none. Um, the reason for that is this is a primary key. And so as a primary key, it's going to index the employees that get put into this table, uh, which for our purposes works great. That way, uh, when you add a new employee, you can just have it automatically adding in new employee ID numbers, uh, which works great. So that's basically the gist of the web application that we kind of wanted to show you today. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and we will see you at the next video.